Hey guys, so this is going to be the use it up or just use it Thursday. And I think this is number five. I think. We'll find out together. Um, so these are the two things that I want to use up for this. What do you even call it for this episode? for this week um i was just gonna do these charlie brown stickers but um these caught my eye so i thought i'd do them too because it it won't take me it won't be hard to use up these squares at all um these came from bonnie they were part of an ek success uh scrapbooking kit which i used but I also had some stuff left over and then these um, I got from my mother that she got from a thrift store and I actually really like these scores and they'll be easy those will be these will be easier than this maybe I'll make an Easter card I haven't made one of those yet <laughs> okay. I'll be back with my finished projects bye Okie dokie, so I got all of the stickers used. Unfortunately, it'll be kind of a boring video because I just made cards. And, I mean, I'm okay with that. But. So, with those square stickers, um, I made this Easter card. Believe it or not, it's the first Easter card I think I've ever made. I honestly do not remember ever making an Easter card ever. So, um, the stamp is from Bonnie, and I just used Marby and Sharpies and colored pencils to color it in. And then this Color Me Happy stamp, which I thought was such a cute sentiment, I also got from Bonnie. And you can see the square stickers in the background. I backed them up on squares of uh, scrapbooking paper that I die cut and just stuck them on there. But you can see the patterning over the scrapbook paper. And there's a little button there. And then this is some ribbon. Which is really cute. I'm surprised I haven't used it. It's one of my goals. I want to use more ribbon. More rib rib ribbon. More ribbon. Oh, and the scallop bubble was at one of the eBay or AliExpress dies. Inside the blank. And then for the Charlie Brown skirts. So these cards are a little bit wonky. I wanted to use up this Charlie Brown paper that I had from the kit and um, I just had scraps and then I also did did not want to cut into any more full sheets of cardstock because my scrap bin of cardstock is uh, taking up or my scrap folder of cardstock is taking up so much room I can't really look through my file <laughs> so um, I needed to stop cutting into it and just make do. So, <laughs> this isn't something I normally do with two little scraps of paper on the side, but I did that because I had two little scraps of this. And center paper cardstock that I embossed, which, oh my goodness, I love using embossing folders almost as much as I love die cutting. Stamping. I like to stamp, but I don't love it, mainly because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to store things, because now I'm second-guessing my my CD method, CD case method, and I can't do the binder method. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but um, anyways, I love to die cut and I love to emboss, not so much stamping, it's a little bit messier. Um, I don't know where that, what brand that 
snowflake embossing folder is. Anyways, this banner die was from a Spellbinders die that I got from Bonnie. And then this is a stamp from eBay. Uh, this Christmas set that I got. And I just backed this sticker onto a green square and inside the blank. I suppose I should no, you can see writing on that. Um then I made this one. Charlie Brown scrapbooking paper. This is this heart was an eBay die heart circle. There's this sticker and here's a banner die that also came from bonnie same christmas stamp and this is a uh, embossed cardstock again oh and the card this card base came from bonnie oh no i glued it <laughs> i glued it to the <laughs> there's some little music notes from that station. <laughs> um, okay, and here's the last one. And I, what's funny is I just got done watching one of Mike's videos. I will put her YouTube name down below if I can remember. Um, and she was just doing a shaker card and she was, and she smudged, smudged her acetate. And as much as I love doing shaper, sh shaker cards, I always get glue all over the acetate. And I I know I could use dry glue, you know, or, uh, you know, like snail adhesive, or I don't have an a ATG gun anymore. Thankfully, that has been liberated from my possessions. Um, but I have put, I have put too many cards together using snail adhesive, and I'll see in somebody's video when they get it, either they get it in a package or just get it, and my card looks like a Picasso painting. So, um, I stopped using dry adhesives. But, uh, so yeah, I use wet glue, and it's great sometimes, and, but sometimes it makes life difficult. But there's the two, or the three last stickers, the Charlie Brown tree, Snoopy, and the wreath is on top. And I made the shaker out of a Gina Marie stitch square die, more scraps paper, uh, the Charlie Brown paper, and a piece of cardstock that wasn't big enough to fit this card but like I said I don't want to cut into any more cardstock if I can possibly help it just another banner die from Bonnie in that same Christmas stamp but I don't know it's cute I decided to use sequins because I need to use sequins because I have them and I don't often use them but I usually don't like to use them because then I have to double up on the foam. Whereas if I use like micro marbles, then I don't and it can just be one layer of foam and then I can send it in the mail without having to pay extra shipping. Uh, but yeah, I need to use the sequins. It can be a hand delivered card. So that is all the projects. Thank you for watching and so I'll talk to you soon. Oh! I want to do another giveaway. I'm giving away a little baby giveaway. This little baby one. I have this spice set that I got from... I don't know where it came from. Nesting dies. Four, five, things like this. I don't get why they give this to you. It's like, what are you going to do with that? Six. So six of them. Um, leave in the comments. Uh, 
I always forget to think of the question. Leave in the comments what your favorite name is. And I will draw a winner in the next video after this one. Thanks for watching.